The video with white breathtaking trucks with a noble Latin letter logo entering a ferry became viral in a moment. The reason for that hides in the heavy-duty vehicles themselves. The world first hydrogen trucks will get to work in Switzerland soon. These very cars, novel Iron Man suits for the Navy, a flying automobile from Embraer, flying internet in Kenya, and the electric off-road vehicle from Audi. We will tell you about all these things in today's release. Just a couple of years ago, Hyundai introduced its new achievement, Exient Heavy Duty Trucks. Their platform made a base for the serial fuel cell modification working on hydrogen. Two joined 95 kilowatt power blocks produce 255 horsepower in total. One fuel recharge of seven in-service tanks in the rear overhang is enough to cover 400 kilometers or about 250 miles. And additional recharge takes 20 minutes at maximum. Switzerland became the pilot project's country for a reason. It does not impose transport taxes on alternative fuel vehicles. So the first dozen of Exian fuel cell is just the beginning. The lot delivered to the customer in September 2019 included 50 cars in total, and the country will get 1,600 hydrogen trucks by 2025. However, Americans are at the back of the pack. Hyundai designs them a truck that can pass 1,000 kilometers over 620 miles without an additional recharge. They worked out just the prototype so far, HDC6 Neptune. The task was assigned to the Nikola Motor Atelier. The company is already famous for creating a hydrogen heavy-duty truck, Nikola TRE, based on the Iveco S-Way chassis truck. Let's conjure to Great Britain now. The Royal Navy has completed successful testings of reactive suits. It can seem incredible, but young sportive people wearing ordinary-looking clothes move in the air in established directions with rather light equipment in their hands and behind their back. They do it alone and in groups. These are not wingsuits that are actually the same as parachutes, just between one's legs. A warrior in this miraculous outfit specially designed for the Royal Marines can fly up and land where needed. The jet suit enables one to drop to land or moving vessels. They engaged patrol boats and the Cotter Pac-24 Fast RIB in the tests. So each British Marine will have something from the Ironman. Proceeding on extraordinary ways to move, we can't but mention the flying car from Embraer. Its concept celebrated the half-century anniversary of the company. Strictly speaking, it's not an automobile, it is more of a universal capsule that can move on the air or wheel platform. Its comfortable cabin in a transparent frame allows observing everything on the way, without any sensation of moving. The intelligent operating system not only chooses the best trajectories, but informs the passengers on all undertaken actions, from wishing a pleasant journey at the beginning to congratulations in the end. Indeed, it is very convenient. For example, passengers get on the vehicle at a Zurich station. They reach the aerodrome by land. Then the cabin changes wheels for wings and heads to Oslo to put on other wheels. And it's all Embraer. As for now, one can see it on the internet, but to enjoy its beauty in full, they took care of that in Google. Especially for developing countries, they invented 4G LTE transmission in the air via giant balloons with solar batteries. They are similar and cheaper than towers. These aerostats launch in the USA, but they can function globally. They restored the World Wide Web in Puerto Rico when the Maria hurricane destroyed it in 2017. In 2019, they saved Peru that survived an earthquake. And now they study their possibilities and opportunities in Kenya. However, it is just a business project now. The service is available for users of the Telcom Kenya provider in the country. The balloons are at about 20 kilometers height and function for 100 days. As of June 2020, the data transfer rate reaches 18.7 megabit per second, allowing steady transmission of all types of files, including video streams. Mozambique expects a similar project in the near future. Hopefully, locals will be able to afford 4G supporting phones there. But let's return to more financially secure latitudes. Audi introduced the concept of the off-road vehicle Q4 e-tron at the Geneva show literally a year ago, and its industrial sample is almost ready today. It is a cross-coupe sports pack with an updated design and refined aerodynamic features on the VW Meb.modular platform. The electric car has two 225 kilowatt power stations, that is, it can produce 306 horsepower. They are distributed in the following way. The front axle has a 75-kilowatt electric motor with a torque of 150 newton-meters, 
and the rear axle motor will have 150 kilowatts and 310 newton meters. The battery capacity in Audi Q4 Sportsback e-tron makes 82 kilowatt hours that ensures a fuel distance of 500 kilometers or 310 miles without recharge for the rear drive version and 450 kilometers or 280 miles for the full drive option. With a maximum speed of 180 kilometers an hour or 112 miles per hour, it achieves 100 kilometers per hour, 62 kilometers per hour in just 6.3 seconds. The serial production of the German competitor Tesla Model Y will start in 2021 and the Audi child will cost around $45,000. Novelties We are thinking about our next releases already. As for now, please share in the comments section what you like most in this review. Till later, see you soon in the next release.